Hey YouTube, um, welcome to the video. Sam here. Hope you've not forgotten me. Uh, it's been a long time since I've posted a video. Um, many things have been getting in the way, to be quite honest. One thing has been making a couple of other YouTube channels. Um, one in singing, uh, which I do, and the other one is in gaming as well. But YouTube, fragrance is always my heart. And that's where my heart lies. Heart lies in fragrances, guys. So, no worries. I'll still be here anyway. Um, but yeah. As things get in the way, you know, you can't post so many videos, but anyway, on with the video. As you can see from the title down below, this is going to be a video, a quick video, relatively quick anyway, about basically, well, a question that I had in my head this morning. Now, it sounds a bit strange because usually you plan a video out, but I just thought, you know what, I thought of this, it needs to be done. Uh, and a question that I've always been thinking about for quite a while, actually. I was going to put on Fragrance, one of the fragrance groups on Facebook, but I think I'd get more idea and more you know get my ideas out more better on YouTube on better on YouTube even. Um basically worst scent longevity ever question mark. That's basically a question that to you all what is your worst longevity scent? What is your worst projection scent? All together as what is your worst scent performance wise essentially. Well I put on this scent this morning which I've had for a while now. Well what when I say a while a few months really um now, if I had been as active as I wanted to be on on YouTube, um, I would have done a whole video about a month or two ago with fragrances. It would have been like a ten or fifteen bottle haul. I have been still have still been collecting, guys. I have not lost my passion in that sense. Nowhere near. I still collect. I just not had a chance to do a haul video yet. Um, now, basically, this was going to be well. Both these were winning the haul. Um, but this one, especially the one I'm talking about, which which has prompted this video, is this one. I'll show you what it is. It's from Honoré de Pré. I'm awful at French. I speak Spanish and German, but I do not speak any bit of French at all. So I'm going to butcher it. But anyway, this one here, essentially. So let's put it to the camera. Yeah, and my nails looking awful, but so what? Yeah. That on there. This is called Sexy Angelic, guys. Now, this stuff, when I saw it, it was very, very cheap. I said it was less than like £30, £40. Pound. Um, it was on sale in Selfridges, and I just thought, you know what, I'll just get it, whatever, it's fine. Um, Sexy Angelic, guys, it's interesting scent because it smells very much like a Gourmand, a Gourmand's dream. When I The first time I sprayed it was today. Now, I bought it obviously off the test card, and I really, really didn't. Um, I kind of didn't enjoy it at first because it was very sweet, right? Really, syrupy sweet. Um, now, I tried it today on my skin. And I was thinking, okay, let's give it a shot. Give it about a few minutes to try it out. I'm guessing because it's only not a toilet and it's kind of half niche, half design. I don't know, but um, I was like, okay, interesting. Um, obviously, a hot day in England today. Um, so I was thinking, right. I'm, my skin, my, on my pores example it's kind of going to jump off my skin maybe a bit more than if it was a cold day obviously um, now I realised this lasted very quickly that this lasted no time at all absolutely zero time um, this is really a first for me because I tend to buy scents that last if you know me you know I love my power scents love my powerhouses don't really like my, my weak scents really um I see it as we'll probably get a scent if it's weak and you know, I want it to last a few hours at least. This didn't last like a bit on half an hour ago, gone. Um it didn't last ten minutes. Seriously. It didn't last ten minutes. And I was just like, no, 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 this can't last this no, I'm sorry. Thirty pound down the drink, no. No. Just ah. Wow. Um I don't know. How do I explain this? Well, it smells like, and I'll give you quite, this is very, very simple. This smells like almonds. Almonds. Yes, almonds. Um, yeah. <laughs> How do you... I don't even know that fragrances can have almonds in, but it smells just like almonds. Almond cookies. And I absolutely love almond cookies. I think they're beautiful little dessert things, toppings to have, and that sort of thing. Fantastic stuff. Um, but this tastes like it smells like almonds to the point you can taste it. It's genuinely incredible in that sense. 
and that's what I really do love about it. It's so gum on, and it is just like, wow, I love the smell that it gives off. Shame it lasts 10 minutes, if that. <laughs> um, well, I'm just basically wondering, when we, that's basically what I'm going to say, is that, you know, this is this is my worst one. This is my, this is my one that I'm going to decide, yeah, that is my worst one. Out of all, like, 280 or it is, 300 in collection, this is the worst one by a fair bit. Um, comparing it to another scent, now, well, before I say that, I'm going to give it due first. Because in case on a Depray are watching, which I'm sure you're not, um, yes, good things. Good things. Okay, good things. Bottle design. I actually quite like it. Very simplistic. Very simplistic. You can carry this around in your bag. Um, you can carry this around in any sort of bag, even like a little purse, because it's unisex as well, by the way, which is another thing. Um, but it's just quick, you just basically pop it off, spray it on, back on your own. Little, it's a tiny little lid. It's literally tiny. Don't get the idea that it's not tiny, because it's tiny. Literally, it's tiny. Great in that sense. Um, deal use, very much so. I've, I've bought this today in the morning, I've sprayed it on about three or four times today. And it just seems very easy to wear, very simplistic. Um, got a little bit woody tone to it underneath, um, almost like sandalwood, which I get from about six, seven minutes in, smells like it, um, like sandalwood shavings, which I've smelled a few times myself in what I've been doing in the past. Um, that's what it smells like. In that sense, really quite nice. I can wear it quite casually. I do like that about this scent. Um, obviously, bad things, just longevity, and yeah, bottle size as well, which is 50 mil. That's all it comes in. So... That's not great either, um, but yeah, that's the main thing I'll say about that. Anyway, comparing it to another scent, this is uh, Bella Bellissima, one of my favourite houses, UK um, house. If you are in the UK, guys, go check out Bella Bellissima uh, brand in Selfridges. I think it's Selfridges only, I'm guessing. I think it is. How is my habit now? I'm not entirely sure, but um, Bella Bellissima. Beautiful brand, lots to pick from. Um, this is an entry level one, and it's a fantastic one as well. Right, this is called Perfect Night, guys. This is an this is a new one to my channel, which would be one of been my honor halls. So, this is called Perfect Night. This, if I can just focus it, ooh, don't know. Anyway, Perfect Night, not to be mistaken by Perfect Day, because there is a Perfect Day as well. Perfect Night, guys, really quite interesting scent. Quite clean, quite fresh, um, almost as fresh as like you'd expect in summery. But on the dry down, it's beautiful. It changes to woody. Like, really. Quite a dark woody scent, which sort of lingers for about six to eight hours. Now, I love this scent, because it's going to be probably... Boy, I'll, I'll, I'll give a hint now. It's going to be in my top five sleep scents, 2014. That's the second edition, as last because last year, obviously, it was 2013. Um, now, that's going to be in there. Definitely. It doesn't really give justice, really, because it I've, looks like I've hardly ever used it, but it, I really have. I love wearing that. Uh, it goes from clean, fresh sil um, silk sort of thing, um, almost Lily the Valley, because I, I know what it smells like. Lily the Valley and almost like a sort of a jasmine sort of accord, um, down to a sort of woodsy, or smelling like walking through the woods and like sort of an awesome day sort of thing. Um, if you just shave some, some wood off a tree, you smell that sort of thing. It's beautiful, and it lingers very nicely on the skin. Um, and people do recognise it on you as well, so it's a really nice scent. I compare these two all in the way that I thought. This one, I thought personally lasted no time at all. Then I woke up, or well, I woke up as well as another other day where I wore it, and someone smelled it on me like nine hours after, and I was like, wow, that's 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 literally incredible because I thought it lasted nothing at all. Um, yeah, pretty much. So that gives you an idea of what it's similar to in a sense. Now, the only thing is now is to say that um, this is cheap, but at the same time, I enjoy it. And that's just my opinion as y'all, as always, as always, it's my opinion. Um, yeah, guys, so the main question is, I'd love to know what you think, not of my hair, because my hair is very different since you last seen me, um, but what you think of your, what's your worst <laughs> sense for projection and longevity? Because mine is this, yeah, mine's that. Uh, anyway, main thing being, I am going to be releasing some videos, hopefully in the next few days, 
Uh, they, are, they are already planned out, I just need to record them now, I'm off for a day or so anyway, so you might get one tomorrow as well, actually, you might get one today because it's like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning at the moment, so um, yeah, this will be out straight away today, but then you'll have maybe one tomorrow as well, or today, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I've got a few videos planned, and uh, I should be seeing you very soon, guys. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, uh, I'd love to hear your comments and everything like that, as always, guys. Um, Wonderful to even though I'm talking to a camera, I feel like I'm connected with you and I, I just love recording. And um, yeah, my fragrance hobby is still here. Fragrance is a big part of my life, as is I'm sure many of yours. Um, again, the videos are coming, and obviously, if you want to stay, if you want to stay in contact with me with the videos that are coming out, um, do make sure you subscribe if you do want to. Completely your choice as always, guys. Uh, I'm very limited what I subscribe to in general, really. Um, but in general, I just say, make your choice in that sense. If you want to see more of these and more gems like this one uh, on my channel, then make sure you do. Have a look anyway. Anyway, I was saying northern. Have a nosy. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. Nah. Anyway, talk to you later. See you later, YouTube. Have an awesome day.